I'm just an average American, and I'm sick and tired of listening to our political idiots do nothing to solve the current crisis. This isn't rocket science, just common sense. The problem is, your average Joe, who has an ability to pay $500 a month for a mortgage payment, went into a bank, bought a house that was too expensive, and now is saddled with a mortgage payment that far exceeds his ability to pay. In this example, I'm using a $2,500 a month mortgage payment when he can only afford $500 a month. So our problem is his mortgage payment exceeds his ability to pay. His ability to pay is fixed and cannot be changed. There's no way for him to get more money. He's an average guy with an average job just like you and me. The money that was borrowed, this amount of money is gone. It went to the builder to build the house to pay for his subcontractors, the materials, and employees like you and me. The solution, there's only two. The loan amount must be reduced to equal his ability to pay, or two, the loan payment must be subsidized. How do you do that? Number one, all new loans must meet current lending standards. No more subprime stuff. Two, all existing troubled loans must be recalled and re-examined with a new credit application supported by tax returns and W-2 forms. This is the stuff that should have taken place in the first place. Number three, troubled loan amounts would be reduced by 20%. 10% reflects the profit that the bank would return. 10% reflects a penalty to the bank for making this outrageous loan in the first place. Four, new mortgage payment would then be calculated 80% times the original, which in this example now becomes $2,000 a month, and a new loan would be issued with the government paying the difference between the new loan payment and Joe's ability to pay. In this example, it's 2,000 minus 500, the government would pay $1,500 a month, just like you and me. By doing this, the owner is made whole. Joe isn't foreclosed on, Joe lives in his house. The bank loan is made good subject to their penalty. The bank is penalized, as they should be, for being irresponsible. Housing values are preserved. This is a $250,000 house, and it remains a $250,000 house. And the taxpayer risk is reduced, and upside is strong. This title would be, hold, would be held jointly between Joe and the government. When the house is sold, in this example, Joe would get 25% of the sale, the government would get the remaining 75% of the sale. Not rocket science, just common sense.